a lack of education. That's been the major discussion point to come out of a recent situation. An Abilene woman with Down syndrome was able to make a trip to a car dealership with a stranger. She was planning to buy a car. Her mother and full legal guardian had no knowledge of this plan. This incident sparking conversation. KRBC's Noah McKinney reports. As a community, we are only as safe as our most vulnerable citizens. Abilene mother of seven, Angie Martin, came home to a disturbing scene Tuesday night. Her third youngest, 27-year-old Hope, nowhere to be found. My heart's beating faster just thinking about it. I got a text from her father. She had apparently called them multiple times and said, I want to buy a car. Martin then called the all-star Honda dealership, hoping to make sense of the situation. He was like, yeah, she's here trying to buy a car. And I was like, how did she get there? Well, I picked her up and I'm like, who are you? Dealership Vice President Nicholas Varela told me that it is common practice for their associates to give transportation in these situations. The conflict appears when you know that Hope is diagnosed with Down syndrome and her mother has full legal guardianship. I'm always trying to thread that needle between her, her rights as a human being and her safety. Hope's decision to get in the car with an unknown person and ride to that dealership, not one Martin would have okayed. As you are as a mom, I was so angry that a strange man would have the audacity to come and take my daughter, who obviously is cognitively impaired, out of my home. Her outrage at the young salesperson redirected after she spoke with dealership management. What was their explanation for how this happened? That their job is to sell cars. Their job is not to discern whether someone is capable of buying a car, which brings up so many alarming questions. Vice President Varela did issue a statement saying in part, quote, recently an incident occurred that we feel it is important to address directly. We are prohibited by law to discriminate or refuse service to anyone based on their membership in a protected category as outlined by the Americans with Disabilities Act, end quote. The dealership holding that they would have been in violation of the act if they had decided on their own that Hope was not capable of consenting to the decision. What legislation attempts to do is to call us to a higher standard, not give us an excuse for our failures. That's not why it exists. I'm sure that they are on the learning curve and that they're rethinking things and examining things and I think that good will come of this. Martin feeling that the main issue boils down to a lapse in education, to which Varela has stated that their sales staff is being trained to better handle situations like these in the future. What do I want out of this? I want our community to do better, to do right by all of our people with additional needs. They deserve to move about our community with some freedom and some safety and a lot of uh, support. For BigCountryHomePage.com, I'm Noah McKinney. Thank you, Noah. Martin says this incident transpired in a short window of time. She says she is already making changes to Hope's schedule and phone habits to try and prevent future situations. More on this can be found on the KRBC website. That's BigCountryHomePage.com.